Are you stuck in a dead-end job with no future, or just starting out and don't want to go to college? My name is Wahid Tanner from Electronic Thinking, and I've seen so many people graduate from college that still don't know up from down. Let me first congratulate you for realizing that there's a better way. So many other people just continue on with their lives, working hard, and getting nowhere. The fact that you're watching me right now shows that you're smarter than that. So keep watching. I've got some cool stuff that will change your life. I don't blame you for not wanting to go to college. It's expensive, and it's not just the school fees. I went to college over 20 years ago on a full tuition scholarship and still had to take out loans that took me 10 years to pay off. And the worst part is my education did very little to prepare me for my first job. Every single day I was learning new stuff that was so far from my college classes I wondered why they hired me in the first place. Most days I felt like I should be paying them for the opportunity to work there. Now just imagine for a moment that you could learn real, practical, and applied skills at a fraction of the cost of college. Skills that are in demand and will actually take you places. Skills that will last your whole life. Skills that you can develop on your own and feel proud of your accomplishments. These are just some of the projects that I'm working on in electronic thinking, and you'll learn not only how they work, but how to build them yourself. Take this one for example. This is a single board computer with a keypad for entry, LEDs for display, serial and parallel ports, built on the Intel 8085 microprocessor. This actually got me hired at Seagate. I took this with me for my interview, and after I explained to them how it worked, they hired me on the spot. This is a Bobot, or Board of Education robot. It's simple to build, and you can use it to learn how to program and to enhance robots with it. This is a microcontroller board from Maximum Robotics. You can use something like this to learn surface mount soldering. And this, this is a 3D printer. I built this in a little over a month, and it actually prints in plastic. It feeds this plastic rod into a heated nozzle, moves back and forth, and builds up layers of plastic to build three-dimensional objects. Imagine taking something like this on an interview. Take a look at the next free video where I'll show you how to do surface mount soldering with just a few inexpensive tools. This video is available for you to watch with no strings attached. In fact, it's even posted on YouTube. In it, you'll learn a skill that might at first seem intimidating, but you can practice on your own. You might even think this is too small to do manually, but let me share with you something about myself. My doctor says I have essential tremors, which means that my hands are so unsteady that I sometimes have trouble holding a plate of food without dropping it. So if I can do this stuff, then so can you. Thank you for watching. You can find other videos such as the one on surface mount soldering at www.electronicthinking.com.